to part seven of Falling Skies in Python 3 for beginners. Um, so let me show you real quick what we have in case you're joining us in the middle. We've got a player at the bottom. The player moves left and right. The blue circles represent rewards and the red circles represent uh, basically things that we do not want to touch. So poison or whatever it is in your game. And so you notice uh, there's no real scoring mechanism. The game just kind of goes on and on. And um, yeah, so we're going to add that to the game now. So uh, we're going to think about this. When the game starts, what is the score of the game? And of course, hopefully you're thinking, well, of course, the score is zero. So we can put that really anywhere. Um, so I'm just going to say score equals zero. So when I start the game. So you got to think about under what conditions do I get points? So basically, I'm going to go down here and say, well, when the player collides with a good guy, we're going to add a point. So I'm going to say score. Actually, I'm going to add 10 points. Okay. What that does is it increases the score by 10. And I'm just going to go ahead and try this. I'm going to say print um, score dot format. Uh, score. So what this does is it will print down here in the terminal the score. So whatever the score is, it puts that in there. So I'm going to test that, make sure it works. So you're going to watch down at the bottom there. Okay, 60. Okay, so it's really easy to get points because there are a bunch of uh, circles on top of each other at this point. Okay, so okay, so that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go down for where the bad guys are. And when the bad guy collides, we're going to decrease the score by 10. Okay, so let's test that. Alrighty. So you see the score's gone down, which is not good. Okay. Now the other thing that we can do uh, is we can also do lives. So let's say when the game starts, you have three lives. Okay. And you lose a life when you collide with a bad guy. So I might say lives minus equals one. So what I could do here is I can say score and lives. And I think what I'll do is I'll copy that and I'll put that up here so it's consistent. So, so lives. Well, I'm already down to minus one life. Okay. Okay, I must have did something wrong. So lives should be ah equals minus one should be minus equals one. So it goes down each time. So let's test that. This is why you test things. You add a line and test it. So minus four, minus ten. Okay, this is because there are multiple. Uh, enemies on top of each other or multiple uh, bad guys on top of each other. All right. Um, now we can add stuff later. Uh, you know what happens if you know you run out of lives, etc. Uh, but what I want to do right now is I want to get that printed. I say printed. I want to displayed on the screen. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pen. So I can create that down here, and I'll say pen. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll just copy this. And we may not need all of it, but we'll use some of it. So I can put that down here. Make the pen. So I'm going to say pen, 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 pen. And the pen's not going to be really moving. Uh, we just got to choose the spot on the screen where we want the pen to go to. And I think I calculated it before at 260. Um, the shape doesn't really matter. Because what we're going to do is we're actually going to say pen.hide turtle. So what that does is it does not show the turtle on the screen, but still lets us use it. So what I can do with that is the following. I'm going to use the pen write method, pen.write. 
And here's how it goes. So it's, it was score. Games always starts to score at zero. So I just start it like that. Lives is three. Or if you want to do it this way, which is probably actually a better idea, is do it like that. Oops. Oops. Dot format. Score lives. Watch where the parentheses are. It gets a little dicey in here. Align equals quote center. And font. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to try and put this here. I've done this before, but I'm going to try it like that. Notice the parentheses. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to miss that one. I want the pen. Official argument. Not sure what that means, but we'll figure it out hopefully soon. Um, pen right, score right, score lives. I think what I have to do is I think I have to do font equals font. Let's, let's try that. Um, you notice how this is turned blue. This is turned blue. Um, so it's looking for a tuple, which should be this thing. Okay, so let me run it and see if it works, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so I put it down there. Um, I didn't want it at minus 260. I wanted it at plus 260. Um, so what we've done is I've, I've created the font. I've said I want this to be drawn in Courier, uh, 24 point and normal. And then I said write the following, which is score and lives, align center and font equals font. Okay, so I'm going to copy that code. So now down here, instead of printing it, so I only want to update it when the score changes. I'm just going to do that. Now this is where you need to test things because uh, weird stuff does happen from time to time. So I'm going to run that in the terminal. Okay, so I'm going to try and, okay, see my score's going up and look how it's, yeah, look how it's getting a little weird there. Okay, Because what pen write does is every time you do it, it writes on top of what was already there which is not what we want. So what you need to learn how to do is do the thing, pen.clear. So before you update it, you clear it, and that hides it. And that basically erases it. So pen, so that is how we get our score in there. So I'm gonna try it one more time. You always test it, make sure. I got an error. So it tells me line 112, invalid syntax. And I must have deleted something by accident. Yep, score plus equals 10. So I'm going to run that again, I hope. OK, score zero, and let's see what happens. OK, score went up. OK, now there's, there's a little bit of a delay there. I'm not sure exactly why. Uh, where's pen at? Pen, pen. Yeah, it should be working. Well, uh, the, I think it's because the clear clear method is a little bit slow. Uh, that's my best guess at this point. But I don't think it really detracts too much from the game, hopefully. Um, so yeah, so that's basically it. So we basically just needed to create a couple variables, keep track of the score and the lives. Um, then we needed to uh, create a pen for drawing. And then draw the initial thing, which is 0, 0, or 0, 3. And then Every time we had a, a collision, we needed to update the score and then clear the pen and then draw it again. So that is that for Falling Skies 7. Making some real progress today.